5%. That is how many people were able to correctly identify all types of online security scams, according to a recent survey from security.org. So nearly everyone, 96% knew about phishing, but just 5% could actually spot the various ways that hackers can access your personal information. And that's because scammers are constantly finding new ways to reach their victims. This morning, we want to help you spot those red flags. So phishing scams will often prey on emotions. You know, they'll use things like fear, you know, a new scam claiming to offer information about the, the Wuhan coronavirus, or, or sympathy, as an example, in, in a new clickbait scam where people are encouraged to, to click on links about Kobe Bryant, only to be infected by harmful software. Don't take the bait. Now, there are some simple steps that you can take to avoid ending up on a scammer's hook. Take a look at this email, for example. It's a scam that went out to more than a million Netflix subscribers about a suspension notification. It looks real, but there are red flags if you look closely. Now, here's another example. This one from the IRS. It's covered with issues. So look at the email address of the person contacting you. First thing to do. Is it spelled correctly? Were you expecting an email from this person or this website? Is the message missing your name or, or does it use bad grammar or spelling? That's usually a big red flag. Does it ask for personal information, password, or maybe an urgent payment? If so, you should consider calling the sender directly. Also, are there unexpected attachments or links? Do not click on them. There are a lot of ways to protect yourself and your computer. So one way is by using antivirus software and protect your accounts by using multi-factor authentication. That's where you know you use your, your password, you also have a code that's sent to your phone via text message or maybe an app. Now, if you think a scammer already has your information, like your social security number, maybe your credit card, bank account number, go to identitytheft.gov. There you will find specific steps based on the information that you have lost. You can also report phishing emails to the Federal Trade Commission at ftc.gov forward slash complaint.